In this video, we're going to have a look at some Seed Studio Mesh Tastic devices. On this side here, we've got the Sense Cap Card Tracker T1000E, and on this side here, we've got the uh, one of their dev kits for Mesh Tastic, which is the Wire Tracker 1110. Um, we'll have a look at the Sense Cap Card Tracker first. So this is quite um, a new device they've released. And it's pretty much the size of a credit card um, around, um, and it's probably about four credit cards thick. So it's only 6.5 millimeters thick, so it's quite quite thin. Um, this has a GPS as well. So essentially it's a mesh tastic device, no screen. Um, it's got a, a buzzer, and it's also got a little um, LED uh, this is waterproof and it uses um, a magnetic connector there so it'll come up come with a cable uh, this is a cable here uh, at first I didn't know which um, direction to put it in but it's pretty much foolproof so they've orientated the magnet so you can only put it on one way so if I go that way it it won't work so it pushes against each other so it's pretty much foolproof so connect it and there you go. Um, this is a really good device. Um, this is going to be my new um, everyday carry just because it's so small and so rugged. There's no screen. Um, so I'll send a message to it now. And you can hear it, it just beeps. So um, it's just got that little speaker there. Um, you can connect to your phone. If you want to turn off the buzzer, um, you have to go into the device configuration and change um, the pin buzzer from, I think this default is 25 and just change it to something else. Like um, I tried zero and trying to send that to the device, but it didn't work. Um, and then I just changed it to five. So just use, if you can't use zero, try to change it to a different um, pin number if you want to just turn off the buzzer. But yeah, this is a really good device if you want to um, just something light easy to carry, quite rugged. So I highly recommend this one. Um, I'm not too sure about the range of the antenna, um, but I, from my testing, it's been pretty good. Uh, so this is waterproof as well, and it's uh, IP65 rating. Um, yeah, so have a look at that. Um, if you want a, a nice little mesh tastic device. Um, and this one here is another um, essentially, it's a dev development kit for Meshtastic. It's called the Wire Tracker 110. So let's zoom in. And that's the product number there. So I've just um, made a little case for it. So this is just a little rugged box case. Um, and then I fit all the internals inside it. So let's just look at it. So it's printed in a clear PLA just to give it a different sort of look. Um, I've also included a, a push button for the use button um, and then just an on and off switch. So I'll open it up. So inside we've got this OLED screen display here. Uh, we've got the 1000 milliamp hour battery and I've got a little on and off switch. So the board has six um, Grove connectors that you can connect different modules or um, sensors and stuff to it. And the main I've, I've got connected is, this one's called uh, a GPS, it's an Air 530, I think. So that just gets connected through the connector here. Um, and when I've tested this um, GPS module, it's actually been really good. So comparing it to my other mesh testing devices that I had eight satellites connected, this one actually gets 14. Um, and it connects really quick as well. So this GPS module is probably the best one I've got out of all my mesh testing devices. Um, what else have I got? Another thing to um, make sure is when you get this, if you get this kit, is you've got to make sure the um, LoRa external antenna is connected and have an antenna connected as well before you turn it on. So this board comes default using the the connector. It's actually the onboard LoRa antenna is not actually connected. You actually have to move 
the zero ohm um, resistor if you want to use the onboard antenna. So make sure you always connect the external antenna because you don't want to damage your radio um, by powering it on and not having an antenna connected. So yeah, this is essentially what I've done. Um, try to make it as neat as possible. So I've actually rewired the connectors, the, the Grove connectors to shorter and I've used silicon wire as well. So it's a bit more flexible and just user friendly. So yeah, I've really enjoyed making this um, dev kit. Um, it's definitely, if you want to make your own mesh-tastic device, um, a node, it's one to consider. So these use the, the NRF um, boards as well, so they're low power consumption. So both the card and this use the NRF board. So they should last a fair while. So this one lasts about two and a half days with the GPS connected. And this one I haven't actually tested yet, so I'll probably get maybe two days out of it as well. So it'd be quite similar. But yeah, so if you want any mesh testing devices, Seed Studio, you know, it's another option to look at. So I'd highly recommend having a look. Um, the only other thing to consider is with this board, it doesn't have um, a solar connector. So solar charging is not um, available on this board. So you might need to sort that out in a different way. But yeah, that's just something to consider. Let's put this back together. Just let me know in the comments if you want um me to save the, the stls for this um, considering that it is quite custom um you will have to do a bit more soldering and what you know whatnot to it but i might make it available as well so just let me know thanks for watching and i'll see you next time